When you think about celebrity life, especially when you're a major star, you often think about how rich they are and all the wonderful and incredible things that they can buy. However, when it comes right down to it, you can make a lot of money, but if you're not smart about how you invest it or handle it, you're going to go broke pretty quickly. And there are many stories of celebrities throughout history who have gone broken ways that might surprise you. So allow us to show you celebrities you had no idea went broke. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 12, Donald Trump. Depending on who you believe, President Donald Trump is either an incredibly rich man or a really broke one. You see, over his long life, he's had to declare bankruptcy at least four times. But each time, he bounced back because he learned how to game the system into doing the work for him, and thus getting back into the business of making money without much issue. It'd be fair to say he cheated because, well, he technically did. And many are curious about how he'll handle himself once he's out of the White House because rumor has it, he's almost broke again. Number 11, Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes is in many ways an example of how not to handle your money, not the least of which is owing $12 million to the IRS and just not paying it due to wanting to have more fun. So take note, even comic villains are scared of the IRS. You dig? Snipes served his time for tax evasion up until 2013 and since then has only starred in one really notable action flick, Expendables 3, and one TV series that flopped pretty hard. He's tried to do more, but Hollywood is pretty wary of him, and that's not hard to understand given rumors of his diva attitude. Number 10, Tony Braxton. Despite her awesome voice and decent run of success, Tony Braxton really overestimated her own fame. She continued to spend even when the royalties on her songs started to trickle in and then finally dry up. This led to two bankruptcies in less than five years, which is sad no matter how you look at it. Rumor has it that she was still allowed to purchase a $3 million home while she was still $50 million in debt. What is it with celebrities and not realizing that being in debt or owing money to people is a bad thing? Number 9. Meatloaf Meatloaf's problem in terms of money came in regards to giving the proper credit to the guy that helped him out with I Would Do Anything For Love. The co-writer sued Meatloaf and nearly bankrupted him in the 1980s. From that point on, the singer wrote all of his own material and has since made an impressive comeback, which is why songwriters nowadays are very careful not to make similar mistakes because these kinds of cases can be costly. Number 8. Burt Reynolds Burt Reynolds was one of the biggest actors in all of Hollywood, so much so that he had a very long and luxurious career in which he was doing big-name TV and movie roles, as well as just being an iconic man of manliness that couldn't be denied, especially during his Smokey and the Bandit days. The problem, though, is that while he was spending money, he wasn't really making it, and thus he had a lot of debt to pay off. It got so bad that he had to go and sell off various memorabilia that he had from films, just so he could make do. Not the life you would expect from a man who did so much. Yeah, he did get better, but it no doubt was a tense time for him. Number 7. Nicolas Cage Nicolas Cage in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s was one of the biggest actors in Hollywood. Sound familiar? From The Rock, Con Air, National Treasure, and even Ghost Rider, the first one, not so much the second one, he was doing really well. He was even almost Superman at one point before things fell through. Look it up, it's kind of an interesting tale. The problem though was that Nicolas Cage definitely had money to burn. He burned through it really quickly. From buying a lot of houses, to a grave in New Orleans, no kidding, to million dollar comic books of Superman ironically enough, Cage burned through a lot of money in no time flat. If you've wondered why Nicolas Cage takes just about any role he's offered in terms of movies or TV shows, this is why. He needs that money or else he can't pay off everyone. So that's why you see him in so many, how do you say, unique films. Number 6. Larry King To be clear, Larry King is fine right now in terms of his finances, but there was a major point in his life where he was very much broke, and not for the reasons that you may be thinking. His vice wasn't spending lots of money like Cage or Reynolds. Rather, he got into a lot of marriages and just as many divorces. And as any divorce person will tell you, alimony sucks. What's more, in the late 1970s, Larry King had a lot of alimony payments to make. And even when he got his legendary TV show, it didn't help him stem the tide. For a while, he was basically penniless. Which is crazy when you think of the long career that he had even then. Thankfully, he pulled himself out, but it wasn't easy one bit. Number 5. Gary Coleman Gary Coleman made his name on the show Different Strokes, which ran for a long time, and if you looked at him during the show, you'd think that he was a child star who was happy and ready to talk about the world. 
but behind the scenes, he was miserable. He noted later in life that he was working long hours despite being a kid, and his adoptive parents and agent were taking large chunks of the money that he had earned. He struggled with depression. He sued his adoptive parents for money because of what they did to him as a kid, something many child stars have done, to be honest. And even though he won, he went bankrupt less than a decade later. And as if that was not enough, he struggled with drugs, had a messy and public divorce, had issues with other jobs, and was doing basically any kind of role he could because he was so poor, even parodying himself at times. In the end, he died at the age of 42, and his story now lives as a tale of woe, as well as a warning to all child stars. Number 4. Wayne Newton Anyone who knew Las Vegas in recent decades knows that Wayne Newton was one of the biggest stars around. People would go to Vegas to see Newton because of his vocal talent. However, Wayne Newton got a little too over in his grandeur, and thus Wayne would spend lots of money he made to live a luxurious lifestyle to the extent that he had $20 million in debt from his spending and his plastic surgery costs to keep him looking good. It worked, but it cost him a lot. Number 3. Aaron Moran Aaron Moran was an actress who played Joni on the mega-hit show Happy Days. She was on the show from day one and had one of the biggest arcs of the whole show, arguably, when she got hitched to Chachi, a truly important moment in TV history. After Happy Days ended, Aaron Moran bounced around from show to show, even doing a brief Happy Days spinoff with Chachi's actor, Scott Baio. Eventually, though, she dropped off the face of the earth, got married, and went broke. Full stop. Eventually, she ended up in a trailer park, and her fame became infamy to the extent that she would do cameos on shows just to get money, and she admitted to that without so much as hesitation. She died in 2017 at the age of 57. Number 2. Mickey Rooney Mickey Rooney in many ways was a Hollywood treasure, and he not only was a great childhood career, but one that lasted all the way to his dying days. But in the 1960s, he had gone and gotten himself into a great deal of debt and had to file for bankruptcy. He then spent much of his career trying to get out of that hole that he had gotten himself into. Like others on this list, he did make it out of that hole, and for him, acting was a joy, so that didn't bother him to do a lot of roles to get the money to work his way out of debt. Number 1. Michael Jackson now, this may surprise some of you, but Michael Jackson wasn't the best guy ever when it came to spending money, to the extent that his infamous Neverland Ranch cost around $10 million to operate every year. Plus, his various surgeries were ones that drained his bank account a great deal. By the time of his passing, he was basically broke, which was not what anyone expected given his larger-than-life persona, lifestyle, houses, and so on. It just goes to show that you can't hide from the man in the mirror. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at celebrities who seem to have it all, but actually went broke at one point or another? Did any of these names surprise you in terms of them going broke? Were you shocked that some were able to go broke and then get their fortunes back? Do you think any other celebrities out there right now are in danger of going broke? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.